Hello everyone and welcome back to the secret tunnel or the secret garden. I can't remember what we decided to call this. But yeah, it's still a little warm. It is cooling down. So I have been up to the craft room. I actually recorded four videos today or this evening, which this is Monday, August 20... Is it 9th? Yes, August, Monday, August. Monday, August 29th, I had four videos recorded. However, I recorded on my old iPhone because the screen's not broken too bad on that. I thought it'd be really awesome and easy to see. And when I decided to start editing those videos, it dawned on to me that the reason they had no sound is part of the reason I stopped using that old iPhone is because the microphone's bad on it. So I have four silent videos. <laughs> anyway, I may or may not go back and redo those. I mean, I'll show you the items, but in separate video. That's not what I'm here for right now. But what I am here for is, have you ever been scrolling through a web page or maybe a book or magazine or something and seen a stitch that you really liked and you had to drop everything and try that stitch out? Well, that's what just happened to me. I did just finish a hat, which I will address that in another video soon, I promise, but not right now. I'm not even gonna show it to you. It is a Tunisian hat, and that's why I was looking at Tunisian stitches, because I wanted to try another different Tunisian stitch, possibly for the hat, but this stitch, I'm not real sure how I would do the increases for the hat, so, I, like I said, I dropped everything, forget the hat for now, I went and got some cotton yarn. This is some, I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby. I've used this before and it is really pretty when it's worked up. It is called Two Pink. Two Pink. It's really pretty. Actually, I used this for the butterfly coaster that got third place in the county fair, I believe. But anyway, I grabbed this, and I also grabbed this longer, which I really don't need it. I could use a regular hook, but I chose to grow. I chose to grab this. This is a seven millimeter, and this is what I'm going to use to try out the stitch with this yarn and make a washcloth. So I'm gonna put up a little picture of the stitch. This is actually, I have a digital copy of this, but it's 101 easy Tunisian crochet stitches, I believe is what it is. But like I said, I've got a digital version of this particular book, and I will put a picture for you guys to see the actual stitch itself. Um, this doesn't include any pattern information at all, so if you've got that book, um, you can go and look at that particular stitch pattern and try it if you'd like, or wait for me to show it to you because it sounds like it's really pretty easy to do. So here is a picture of that and then I will just leave you guys for now and I will see you someplace for my next video.